Welcome to Titan HQ. In this video, I will go through creating a domain group administrator. This level of access is quite important, especially for MSPs. What we're viewing here is the MSP level access, where you see all settings, all quarantine reporting, and so on. The domain group administrator allows you to create a level of access where a admin or a user can log in and view a group of domains. They can create domain policies, domain group policies, view the reporting for their specific domains, whitelists and blacklists, and so on. So to create a domain group admin, you come to the anti-spam engine domain groups tab. In here, you click on add and you create the domain group. Let's call this test group. If they're in a different time zone to your servers, you can select their time zone here. So the reporting reflects this time zone. Click on save and you've now onboarded that domain group. Now you need to create the admin for this domain group. This is done on the anti-spam engine, admins tab, and domain group administrators. Again, you click add, you create the email address that you want them to log in with, so maybe most likely their own email address. So let's say test at testgroup.com and you assign them to the according domain group. In this case, it was test group and click on save. That will create this user. Now that they are created, they need to receive a password to log in. For security reasons, we do not create their login uh, information, their passwords. So what you must do is log out and use the forgotten password link. Click forgot your password. Enter in the email address for the domain group admin and they will receive their login details. So now if I log back in, they will have received their login details. But you, as the domain or the MSP, you can view their settings also. So you can impersonate this account underneath options. And this is the default level of access the domain group admin would receive. In here, they see the statistics for their domains, the reporting for the domains, quarantine. They can add whitelists and blacklists. And from the settings, relay settings tab, they can onboard more domains. On the anti-spam engine, they can edit their domain policies also. Again, the domain group administrator is quite a useful tool because this allows you to give admin access to maybe a reseller or a large customer that has a number of domains and would like to access that and view settings out for them. That may take admin overhead off you and allow the end users, the customer, to admin their own domains if required also. Yeah. <laughs>